What's up, everybody? I am Denver Gamer, and welcome back. Today, we're going to check out the Xenia emulator for the PC. It's an Xbox 360 emulator. It's pretty awesome. It's been developed pretty well over the last couple years, and uh, I'm going to show you how to set it up. So let's get cracking. The first thing you're going to need is a legally obtained copy of your physically owned game. Yes, I ripped my physical copy of Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare, and that's what we're going to be playing today on my PC. Go to the first link in the description that will take you to the Xenia download page. Now this page is filled with a bunch of goodies, a lot of information, but we're just going to click on the master link here and that's to Xenia master. Now there's another version called Xenia Canary, which we'll be covering in the next video, but this is the base video for setting up Xenia and we're just going to get a game running today. So go ahead and click on this link and download this to wherever you'd like. I'm gonna download it to my desktop. Now you will need to extract this file to its own folder. I'm assuming you guys know how to extract zip files. I like to use WinRAR, so I'm going to right click and I'm gonna extract it to its own folder right here on the desktop. You can use 7-zip, WinZip, WinRAR, but uh, I prefer WinRAR. So go ahead and delete the zip file. Oh, you don't need that anymore. And now we've got our folder. I like to rename my folder, so I'm just gonna name it Xenia, and we'll open that up and see what's inside. Pretty bare bones at the moment, but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna right click inside the folder, select new, select text document, and type in the word portable and hit enter. What this text file is going to do is going to tell the emulator that you want all of the emulator files stored in this folder. Otherwise, it's going to put all the emulator files that it creates into your documents folder. The next thing is really easy. Just double click on the Xenia executable to start the emulator and then simply exit out. What this did was create a config file, which we will be diving into a little bit later. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and create a games folder. I just like to have them inside the folder and organized like that. I'm going to drag my ROM in there. Not something you have to do, but I like it that way. The next step is really, we're going to start our emulator. I want you to remember two hotkeys. That's F6 and F11. Okay. We're going to go to file, open, and you're going to go find your ISO or I called it a ROM earlier. It's really a disk image file of Red Dead Redemption here and open it. Okay, I skipped ahead there a little bit. I just want to show you all how to make the graphics sharper and cleaner and really the Xbox 360 games look better than they ever did before. So... As you can see in the fire right there, there's a little bit of jagged edges. We're going to be fixing that. You can hit F11 to go to full screen. Then let's hit F6, and that's going to bring up our post-processing settings. Now let's pause it right here. Now I'm going to link an article that explains the hell out of these. But basically, the best luck I had was the Fidelity FX Super Resolution, um, a filter, I guess you'd call it. And this basically takes a lot of burden off of your PC instead of having to go into the config file, which I'll show you in a second, and bump up the internal resolution. So this is a great option if you have a little bit slower of a PC. I will link an article all about it, but you can play around with these and there's little bars you can slide to make the graphics sharper or not and uh, kind of fiddle around with it and see what works. You can see some flickering as well here in the uh, graphics. I think that's just the emulator, but that Fidelity FX super resolution worked amazing. I mean, it just really sharpened up the graphics on this. So let's go back to the folder again. I do want to show you one more thing. You can see that it actually created some more folders, but go ahead and open this config file. Now you can do it with Notepad. I use Notepad++, so you'll right click and open it uh, with Notepad++ is what I used. We're going to scroll down. We're going to find draw scale resolution, and this is under the GPU section. Now you can double these numbers one and make them two, and you will double the internal resolution in the game. 
that makes the emulator make about four times as many pixels to uh, generate and, you know, put shadows on and all that stuff. So it does bog down your PC. There is another option. You don't have to change them both to two uh, or three is your other option. You can actually just change one of them to two and you're only doubling the pixels. Now that might not sound right. It might sound like you're making a rectangle or something, but the emulator does figure it out mathematically and it will make it more like a 1080p resolution. That's kind of a sweet spot if your PC is not super fast. Just don't forget to save before you exit. Back over in the emulator, you can see that it is running crystal clear, but I want to show you one more place to go. Select help and select game compatibility. This will take you to the Red Dead Redemption page. Now this was actually a different disc than Game of the Year edition, but right here on the right are a little comment section and it has all types of, well, just people commenting on tweaks and how to make the game run smoother. So if you have a game in there, you can hit on the game compatibility option under help and go look at the forums and see what these guys are talking about, okay? So I hope this video helps you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to connect outside of YouTube, I do have a Twitter where I post video game stuff and top 10 lists, as well as an Instagram where you can see my collection and pickups. I also have a TikTok. You can see Groot, Rocket, and Gamora, my Great Danes, and shorter videos. And I also have a Facebook page you can follow as well. So I look forward to connecting with you.